You know, us humans are designed really well with five fingers. Is that nice? Yum. Peanut definitely does not need any more feed. Hey everyone, good morning. Welcome back to my channel, or for those that are new, hey, my name is Alicia. So in today's video, I thought I'd do kind of like a feed all my animals with me. Me and my husband live here on 10 acres in New Zealand. And at the moment, we have quite a few animals. We've got my calves behind me that I'm raising. We've got the sheep ready for their feed. We've got the pig squealing in the background. And of course, our chickens here. We just actually made the chickens a new chicken paddock, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy this video and coming along with me feeding all our animals. And um, so yeah, let's get into it. All right, so to start off, we better get these pigs fed so we don't wake up the neighbors. They always let us know when they're hungry in the mornings. All right, so we feed the pigs slightly different to my other video where I did a feed my animals with me. We've actually managed to get a supplier of um, spent grain so a brewing company locally brews their beer and gives us all their spent grain um, for free. Yes, yeah, super handy that we're getting feed for free. We rear pigs and breed pigs so of course it's definitely more economical when you're getting your feed for free. So the fun part is always trying to get through this little gate where the sheep are because they bowl me over because they want to get fed. <laughs> Is that nice? At first when we gave them the grain, they were like, what on earth is this? But now they're eating it. All right, so now I've got this other bucket. I'm just gonna give it to the little pigs because the um, big pigs tend to kind of push them out of the feed bowl. And we've also got young Dorothy. Hey, girly. <laughs> She's hungry. She's, um on her own at the moment because she is on the heat. Hey, and we don't want the boar to get to you because you're a bit young to breed yet. Alright, so now that the pigs are sorted for now, we have got to feed all my young calves. So at the moment I have got only 19 calves, I'm planning on getting around 40 calves. I'm actually doing a calf rearing series here on my channel at the moment. I've been rearing calves for 15 years now. So yeah, I thought I'd do kind of like a series on all what I've learned over those 15 years. So we've mixed up the milk powder and the hot water together. Now we put some whole milk in these buckets for the calves. So we mix whole milk and milk powder together. I will do another video later on down the track. I'm on the calf rearing series, why we mix the milk and things like that. Hey Carlos. Carlos always stands around waiting for the leftovers, don't you? But yeah, we keep it in this big vat, makes it cool for longer. At the moment we don't have a chiller, because I found out you need three phase to have a chiller. But we're getting pretty low on the milk. So yeah, we don't chill this milk. And I found out unchilled milk lasts for around 10 days. 
so you can it stays like in its good form for 10 days um, so yeah if you guys don't have three phase can't hook up a chiller you can store normal milk for yeah around 10 days Is that nice? <laughs> Yum! Might need to go over just to make sure that they're all on a tee, that they're all feeding well. <laughs> no, Andy, don't you drink the milk. Oh, see, that one's nearly finished, so we're just going to have to top up her milk. Hopefully that one stays on her teeth. I'm just going to hop over the fence. We've got a little bit of whole milk left. So we'll just top hers up. You can see who's our quicker drinkers and who's our slower drinkers. This one. Ah, you're going to be a big tubby lass. I love watching calves from this angle. It's super cute. All their little drools and their slubbers. If you don't like slobber, <laughs> calves are not for you. All right, both groups of calves are nearly done. So after this, we just need to clean all the feeders, obviously let the calves outside into the paddock, give them some more meal and hay and top up their waters and things like that. Then we might need to go check on my two-year-old Logan. He normally is asleep while I do this, so we'll just make sure he is still asleep. Um, otherwise, if he's not, we will sort him out. <laughs> you know, us humans are designed really well with five fingers, so technically we could probably have like five calves off each finger. All right, so I think she's finished. So I'm going to get out of the pen before I take this feeder off because if you take the feeder off while you're in the pen, they literally chase you like these two, suck your clothes, bunch you, lick you, and you become like a slobbery mess. So I'll hop out of the pen, grab those two feeders, and yeah, then we'll give them a big wash. Hey, escape you, you crazy sucker. And then we'll just go give these feeders a wash. We add apple cider vinegar to our calves' water. It's real good for like gut health and everything like that. So we just add like a capful per their little trough of water that I've just filled up. So now I was saying before our shed's not quite set up, look, you wait, look how we let the calves in and out. We literally have to take the gate off the hinges to create kind of like a raceway 
to let them in and out the paddock. But then I like to think you kind of just got to use what you've got. You don't need a blooming fancy shed. This does the trick. We just kind of make it work. I mean, it's yeah, it's a little bit harder, but it's not too bad. Well, put it this way, I'm getting better at putting the gate on the on the gudgeons um, because I've got to do it every morning twice. So yeah, so it's always a plus to everything. And then we literally tie the gate on with like a piece of bailing twine. So yeah, now I will go inside there, let all these calves out to enjoy the sunshine. Better not forget Dorothy. You waiting for your milk? They absolutely love the milk. Except she wears half of it most of the time because when you're trying to get into the bowl, they like move like crazy. That's all you guys get, sorry. So these pigs are actually a little bit overweight, so we've got to try and cut back their feed. They're also real close to having their piglets. Hopefully, what's now, middle of April, maybe the end of the month, but probably, definitely next month. So definitely stay tuned if you want to see some cute piglet videos. Up next is our sheep. So we feed them these NRM multi-feed nuts with zinc um, because this time of year you get quite bad facial eczema. Well, it's actually coming to the end of the season. We'll just feed them some of those nuts. sheep are actually ex-calf club pets from my old boss that I used to work for. They don't obviously need it, you can probably see the size of them. They are quite big. Um, they're probably actually pregnant now because we got a ram called Keith, Jaden named him. We got a Wiltshire ram, where is he? I'll show you him shortly. So yeah, fingers crossed in a few months time we're going to have some cute baby lambs. These sheep are Dorper cross something um but they're getting quite bad feet issues so yeah we're trying to kind of breed out the dorper and go more towards the wiltshire and wiltshire are self-shedding so obviously that's a big plus hey girl she's looking for more pellets like you need them like literally look at the size of these sheep we got them like this we're trying to get the fat down <laughs> but yeah they're like Friggin' tables, when we picked them up they wouldn't even fit through the yard, so they're big girls. Hey. Bella is my favourite sheep, this one. Hey. You just want the food. Here's Keith, our Wiltshire ram that we got a few months ago. He's actually quite a nice looking ram. And his coat, his coat, his wool's looking real nice at the moment. He just shedded it off and now he's starting to grow it back. So yes, he's the man of the paddock. You pigs are very, very loud. They're not liking their new diet, I don't think. Hey. Okay, so we've got our chicken pellets. Um, so now we're gonna feed the chickens. So me and Jaden just made this chicken paddock. I actually made a video of us making it. It took us a few days, but it's actually come out real cool. We've still gotta do the finishing touches and I will do the reveal video very soon. 
We're trying to think of a name, what to put up on this entranceway. Um, Cleo just made me trip up. <laughs> but yeah, we're trying to think of a name, what to put on this entranceway, curls, chickens or whatever. So if you've got any name suggestions, please leave them in the comments. That'd be awesome. Be cool to come up with something creative. We've got like a mixture of everything in here, mainly frizzles, um, because I love the look of them. And then we've got an Aracana, a Light Sussex, a Leacorn over there, she's super old. They're all actually quite old, but I'll show you shortly. We've got um, a mum with 12 chicks, so we'll feed her soon, and she hopefully is gonna like replenish our numbers. Oh yeah, we got a Silky as well. Can't forget her. I love owning chickens. They kind of remind me of like dinosaurs. <laughs> we made this chicken paddock out of hex netting and it's 30 by 10 meters so it's quite big and I'm planning on planting more trees and making like an orchard so then the chickens can kind of like they eat all the pests and stuff and fertilize the trees so I really want to see how that relationship works see if the trees um, grow a lot better. So yeah that's the chickens done Look at them. They love these big dirt hills that Jaden made. He actually made them for his dirt bike, but the calves have kind of ruined them, but they love playing on the dirt hills. It's super cute in the evenings. So we keep Mama and her babies in this A-frame just to obviously keep her protected from the dogs and everything that's out there. Pretty cool that she, um, hatch 12 eggs though. So mama is an Aracana. I think she must be an Aracana cross something. We actually bred her a few years ago and she's been, she's definitely been the chicken that hatches the most chicks. And then these are the cute little bubbies. Most of them are, would, well actually all of them would be frizzle because we only have a frizzle rooster. So all these chicks should be frizzle cross something. I imagine a lot of them are frizzle aracana with the mamas. So aracanas lay green eggs. So yeah, I can't wait to see these little babies grow and to see what they grow into because they're quite a unique color combination. We've got some black ones, white ones, yellow ones, brown ones. So yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see what they grow into. Oh my God, I've got to show you what the dogs are barking at. Our neighbour just lit the biggest fire ever. It looks like it's kind of in control. Kind of not in control. I will try and get it on camera to show you because that's a big fire. I can literally feel the heat from here. The neighbour's literally standing next to it so it's a little bit awkward that I'm filming it. But damn. That's scary. Right, well it is definitely getting hot around here so I've had to take my jumper off. So here's our three Cherrelet girls. They're actually looking real good at the moment. Waiting for their grain. It's funny when I say my Cherrelet calves, everyone's like, what, they're not calves because they're so damn big. But yeah, we love Cherrelet because they grow like quite muscly. They're real good beef cows so. Yeah, when we grow these up for beef, it's going to be interesting to see what they are like compared to like the white face that we usually keep. I think I might need to give them a, a bigger like meal bin, don't you think? Because <laughs> this was the meal bin we used when they were little, now they've definitely grown. Oh yeah, excuse the fence. I've actually been staining it. Well, on the other side, I'll see if I can show you. The lighting's bad because it's in the morning, but... Yeah, it looks real cool. We're staining it like a redwood stain. Um, but look at this. I had to stop staining. I was starting to do this side, but then I spotted this wasp nest, which I swear was here in the other video. Still haven't got around to killing it. Really need to, so I can finish off painting this fence. But yeah, it looks cool, eh? Jaden made this fence. He's actually getting real good at fencing. All right, so last but not least, we've got to move my horses. 
So I did actually have three horses. I had a Clydesdale called Belle, which you probably saw in another video. But unfortunately, she didn't work out that great. She wasn't the best to ride. And yeah, she wasn't that kind to this one either. So it's way easier, um, especially having a two-year-old toddler, just having one horse to look after. And of course, little Peanut down here. Hey, Peanut. That's Logan's little pony. Hey. I did a video on um, a day in the life of a country kid and he rides Peanut in there. So if you want to see Peanut in action, definitely check out that video. But yeah, we pretty much just shift the horse's tape. Izzy's in real good condition at the moment, real shiny and looking real good. So yeah, I don't feed her any supplements at the moment, but if she starts losing condition or anything like that, then we'll give her some feed. But other than that, she just gets grass and yeah, some hay occasionally. And Peanut definitely does not need anything. If you've owned, if you've ever owned a miniature, you'll know that minis put on weight like crazy, and you've got to really manage their feed. Um, so yeah, Peanut definitely does not need any more feed. Hey, sir, don't you nibble my fingers. <laughs> Oh yeah, we actually do have four more Wiltshire sheep, but these sheep are psychos. They literally just go through fencing, so they kind of just are in any paddock they want to be in. Um, but those guys are definitely deemed for the freezer because, yeah, they're so scatty. Um, yeah, I like having calf club, <laughs> calf club sheep. They're just a lot easier to manage. like a small segment and I'll probably move them again in the evening just like a meter just to yeah keep them full pretty much happy pony the fresh grass and little peanut it's good we for now don't have to electrify these fences they're actually pretty good but we've got to make sure we have a second tape halfway down because this one definitely will go underneath if we don't have that second tape. Are you waiting for your bickies? Better not forget to feed the pooches. Oh, hey, you want your bickies? So we'll better go feed the pooches. Hey kids, where's Andy? So that's pretty much all our animals. We do actually have three cows in the back paddock but they don't really get much. They're actually in a one hectare paddock at the moment, so they pretty much just chill in there. We just make sure they got water and stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much all our animals that we need to feed. We've just got to, of course, feed the dogs. Can't forget them. They get fed black hawk. And all our dogs are a bit overweight at the moment. So they literally get like that much. <laughs> Although in saying that, they do actually eat lots of like the pig milk and stuff. So yeah, they don't 100% just get this. They do snack on like pig food and milk and stuff. Sit. Sit. Carlos, sit. Okay. Probably not the best place to have washing, eh? <laughs> so that pretty much wraps up this video. All the animals are now fed. It probably takes me about an hour to do everything, maybe an hour and a half. But yeah, I really hope you enjoy these kind of videos. Definitely let me know in the comments if you like watching these feeding routines. I think it's just, it's easy when I do this kind of video because it kind of shows you around the farm and what we've got and stuff like that just um, in one video. But yeah, I'd love to have you subscribe if you haven't already. We've got lots going on here. Calf rearing like you saw before. Our pigs are gonna be having their piglets soon. We have a lot of property renovations that are undergoing at the moment because obviously our house is 1970s, you can see behind us. So yeah, we're currently building our big decks. We are putting in a new driveway, building lots of new fences, 
Jaden actually just built some real nice fences over the weekend, so that is looking amazing. Um, I will do an updated property tour in a couple months after we put the driveway in and stuff like that because that's super, super exciting. And I love watching other people's lifestyle blocks, um, what they've got going on. So yeah, definitely leave a comment below if you've got a channel similar to mine, if you've got a small lifestyle block. Um, anywhere in the world actually it's really interesting to see what other people do and stuff when it comes to having a small block as well also stick around if you want to see all our calf rearing episodes obviously the calves soon are going to go outside full time in the paddock and go on the big trailer feeders so that's pretty cool to see if you haven't seen calves being fed on those trailers before I better wrap up this video Logan's probably awake now because it's coming on I think 8.30 I hope to see you guys in another video See you later, bye.